Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Wizard with a Gun, a spell-slinging survival sandbox action roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for here today. It's developed by Galvanic Games and published by Devolver Digital, and I am oh so excited to check this one out. I've been very much anticipating it, and yet I don't know fully what it's going to be yet. So let's pop on in and figure it out together as we check out the Steam Next Fest demo. First time playing? Yep, let's get on in. Q to open up the potion wheel. Listen, and I'll tell you a tale. There they stood, sits alone, the hunter, the neighbor, and the wild swan's home. The young chief rising in a wheel. Oh, remember. The gate was thrown wide. Well, all right. That, okay. If I was not hyped before, I am extremely hyped now. That is a good intro. All right, we're going to make a little son of a gun. Choose a hat. Oh, okay. Ooh, I do kind of just like the standard old cowboy hat. Amulet. I have a sneaking suspicion these don't do anything specific. But we shall see. I think we're just customizing a character, which honestly I'm into. Eye shape. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm going to finish customizing here. Not that it's going to take much longer, and then I'll unpause. There we are. In we go. Wizard without a gun, find your way to the tower. Hello, wizard. You're gonna have to adjust some audio. All right. Oh, good, you are still alive. You are my first pick, but my first pick is already dead. Not ideal, wouldn't ask you to do this if I had another choice. Not much time left before the world ends. You'll have to get into the tower to roll back time before chaos started wrecking things. There's doorway not too far from here. Just follow the path. Punch, punch. Tangy leap. Okay. Can we, uh, eight armor on that? We have space to dodge. We got some kind of, like, gotcha. Can I run? Ooh, wait a minute. Looks like we could use it to break these rocks. That's kind of neat. Sure? I'm kind of curious. Could we use this as a way to, like, cheese materials we maybe shouldn't have yet? Yeah, it kind of seems like maybe. That's pretty cool. Alright. I'm gonna move on. It says get moving, but there we go. We got some extra stone. Can I? Yes. Consume with Q, which gives us a little bit of... Okay, a little bit of regen. Can it stack? Unclear. Oh my. Alright, we're gonna need tools. So is this going to be kind of like a more... Like a twin stick action don't starve? 
Is that kind of what I'm gathering right here? It seems like it might be the case, which... I mean, I'm very much in if so. Alright, we got no extra fruit or anything, but... Hey, it's fine. We had like a, a wet status effect for a moment there. She's, you. She's dead, wizard. There's no bounty left for you to collect now. All the doorways are closed again across the entire tower. She opened them all once. Perhaps you can too, but you'll need Arcana. Chaos is just magical energy, malignant and mindless. You'll need to fight it to gather some Arcana. To fight it, you'll need a... What should you call it? Oh, yes. A gun. Open the crafting tab. Make a wooden gun. I have crafted a gun. I have done it. Now that you have a gun, you can gather Arcana to unlock the doorway. It'll take you to a safe place. Chaos monsters will drop Arcana when they die. You have limited ammo. I see that now. Okay, so we're going to be on the lookout for monsters, I suppose. Find a source of Arcana. Yeah, I'm not noticing a sprint button yet. Oh, hello there. The last bard. Everything comes to an end, kid. We've got the best seats for watching the show. That old ghost tell you the fate of the world's in your hands. I've heard her say that one before. Heavy burden to put on anyone. Don't stress too much, kid. If you fail, no one around the town will blame you. Good luck with everything, kid. Bye-bye. Be careful. Beings of pure chaos are coming through the rifts up ahead. Defeat them to obtain Arcana and open the doorway. Alright. I don't really want to waste my gun. I think I can, like, flip through this little area here, but... Nah, eh, maybe not. Alright. Since we have limited ammo, I want to be careful. Well, alright. Okay, so if we're getting Arcana from those, do we not want to kill the portal? Like, we're kind of just, you know, we're farming Arcana. Hello, wizard. Is it basically a mob spawner? That's just going to keep on coming back? Chaos is a relentless force, but you stood strong against it. Return to the doorway and open the tower. Okay. I have my Arcana. What does it do? Repair the doorway. Quest complete. You made it to the tower. You have a moment to relax. <laughs> oh, it won't let me get that. Okay. Tether my soul. Yeah, it won't let me it won't let me jump over there. First edition, learn how to learn. The first edition is an ancient Makana tome capable of learning about the world around it. You can use it to scan objects and find out more about them. While holding the first edition, you will see an indicator above objects that you can scan. You can upgrade the first edition, allowing you to scan more objects. Scanning some objects and creatures provides recipes for crafting. Okay, so F to hold it. The wheel. An ancient god machine used to roll back time. The process is chaotic and sometimes produces unexpected results based on whether the cause of an event is still in the world or in the tower. As a safeguard put in by the gods, all tethered beings must be in the tower for the wheel to roll back. Let's just collect some stuff. Scan five buildings. What we got here? Gear. Yeah, let's just find the last one and then maybe we'll be able to piece it together. Manuscript. So we can get these, though. <laughs> I 
Okay, you can go ahead and search that one, and then we theoretically have all those we need. Use to safeguard the souls who use them. Um, let's see. Great educational resource for beginners. Store and safeguard your extra arcana for later use in that thing. Destroys items and converts them into raw arcana. Good to know. Good to know. So let's go and find one more gear, it looks like we need. I saw a ton of them. I don't know if I saw a ton of them in spots we could easily get to. There's another doorway right there. Unless that's the one we came in on. I think that's the one we came in on. Yeah. All right. Scoot on over then. So we have 73 bullets left in this gun. So we do have, you know, we have our limit. Oh, there's the final gear. Shwoop. Return the ancient gears to the wheel of chronomancy. The strongest of magics. Not that, it's over here. Alive. The Chronomancer's Wheel is a god machine that rolls back time. Return ancient gears to add to the wheel and rebuild more of the world. Every gear you add allows you to roll time back further and discover more of the Shatter. The Imperium. Reset and rebuild the world by rolling back time. Oh, my lord. Loud machine. We've rolled back time to before the end of the world. Maybe Hild is alive again. Upgrade the first edition. We need to do that as well. But, like, holy moly, I can't get the audio balance on this right. It's very all over the place. So, that was down here, I believe. We need metal scrap for that. This was to store Arcana if we needed to. All right. Yeah, what I thought. I, I'm pretty sure that that's the machine we need, but it's broken, so we have to do this first. It's just letting us know of a quest that we're going to have to do later. Alright. If you go through the doorway, you'll be starting a new expedition. If you die during an expedition, you drop all the items out of your backpack and return to the soul tether. That's fine. All right. There's Hilda. That was not a hard find. You! Oh, you're my replacement. Of all the people on the Shatter, you. Because I hope she knows what she's doing. Getting too old for this nonsense, but if you're going to take my job, you should at least do it well. First things first, let's get that gun reloaded. Head over to the loading bench. Wizards use loading benches to build spells on their guns. You'll craft bullets and powders with the resources you gather from the world. Select the bullet, craft the bullet, or track it with a task. Just a destruction bullet. I mean, that is a hell of a lot of bullets. A uh, simple destruction spell, a classic. Next time you're in the tower, check out the research mechana. It'll help you learn to build better spells. You'll need to learn to build your own loading bench next time you roll back the wheel. I may not be here. See if I have the first edition. Good. The book is smarter than you can imagine. If you let it get a good look at something, it can teach you a lot. Have it take a good look at me. It'll show you both how to make a world builder a furniture gun. What the heck? Zoop. Okay, recipes unlocked world builder. We also unlocked the recipe for the loading bench is kind of what I was anticipating there. Good, the book should have taught you a recipe for one of those guns now. Go ahead, craft one.
craft it or make it a task. So I'm going to need some metal scrap. Can I go ahead and just like... Well. Surely this has some metal scrap. Armor too high. Research better spells. I seem, seem fine to me. Okay. There we go. Crafted a world builder. Can be used to construct and deconstruct buildings. Buildings constructed in the tower are permanent. Those in the shatter are lost when you roll back time. I remember when I built my first furniture gun. Make sure to build a loading bench in your tower. It'll serve you till the end of time. 200 years ago, the world broke and the shatter was created. Since then, things were stable. Mostly. Until we opened the tower and let the chaos out. Chaos keeps destroying the world, no matter how many times we roll back the wheel. Now chaos has broken the wheel. To rebuild the world, you're going to need to rebuild the wheel first, one ancient gear at a time. My allies, the riders, may have some of the pieces as well, but they won't trust you. This is the first time you've met us, not the first time we've met you. When you roll back time again, I won't remember this. Gears are used to rebuild the wheel. After returning an ancient gear, you can roll back time to expand the shatter with new areas. Cool. Farewell. Bye-bye. Got a hell of a lot of quests, so slot the ancient gears into the wheel. I mean, in a way, should I just pop back... Make sure I put those in. Craft a bench now, maybe? If I... Eh. It's fine. But I guess then we have to uh, roll back time once more. Roll back the world. Yeah, we can roll it back even further now. You learn how to craft spells from Hilda Bulla herself. What? Chaos is now breaking apart the world. You have a limited time until chaos is unleashed. When it's unleashed, it begins to devour the world and surviving becomes more difficult. Awaken dormant rifts and destroy them to push chaos back even further. Okay, so we're, when we get out there, we have a five-minute timer until, basically, things get a lot scarier. Um, metal scrap. I don't know if there's any metal scrap I can get here, unless... What was the machine that broke down my stuff? Good God. I wish that this wasn't so scattered and broken, you know? Like, I wish we could just hop across the stuff, but I guess that's the thing is you're going to get it later, but it makes it kind of tedious to traverse the first times. Annihilator. Eh. Probably don't need to annihilate anything. Okay. Let's just get out. We need to go collect some gears. We'll roll back time. Explore. Yep. Break down portals if I find them. Honestly, I think that breaking some of this is going to be good, too. Yes, I understand the armor is very high. Too high is a bit of a mis misnomer. Because I am able to kill it. But holy crap, is it a more tedious thing, indeed. Oh, hello there. Looks like we must have met before. You have my gun. The other riders have the gears. You'll need to face them. That furnace over there can melt down metals and other stuff, turning them into useful building materials. You can scan it just like any other furniture. Cool. Furnace. Converts some resources into others by making them very hot. It seems to imply that we should check out no fuel. Okay. So use some wood. Because this was dropped. As much as we do want metal scrap, this was on the ground right by it. Clearly, they want me to experiment with that. So we get a iron ingot. And it can just start building. 
I guess I'll just get more scrap. Boy, it's using a lot of uh, my bullets to do this, but... We'll do this. We'll get the ingots. And then we'll have the... I'm assuming the ability to... Craft a furnace. Yeah, we now know how to. Arcana bank. Why would we want to make an Arcana bank? Okay, grab all that. We got some... Ch oh, there's some charcoal on the ground, too. Would you look at that? All right, let's go out and do some wild stuff. What is this? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, no, nothing. Just has tons of good stuff in it. <laughs> All right, there's a cat. Please don't be evil. I don't want to shoot at you. What's that question mark that's filling up? You going to go evil? No. Just running. Right now, we're just going to try and, you know, do normal survival sandbox stuff. Just live. Get our tools that we need. Is this going to be what? It's a fern? Glows at nighttime to attract pollinators. Chaos Rift. Reduce the chaos. Good. Move out. Ideally, we'll find more. You there. There's some scavengers. So they these are the guys that don't recognize me. Yeah. Okay, we'll use up that rock. Get wrecked. So this isn't going to help us with the, um... Ooh. Ooh, there's lots of scraps there. Clearly that guy just fought somebody else and... And won. But hey. I'll take it. Holy crap, this is a lot of supplies. Two minutes until uh, things are about to get a lot scarier, though. So I don't know if we want to... I mean, why would I... Why would I heal? I'm going to want to move along. Find portals for the most part, I think. Or find more of those guys. We got one of the gears. Okay, we got something else going on up here. Can I cross the water? I can. Cast Rift. Go. 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 Okay, that buys us another 30 seconds. Boy. We can grab all that stuff. So this, um... Man, this... They're like special turrets. Do I need to kill them? Or it kind of just seems like they are maybe a defensive structure. Something like maybe I could build too. Possibly. I do not want to shoot the cat. Hello, are you evil? Yep. Just checking. Just checking. Bag it up, bag it up. Stop telling me to open up a map right now. I want to murder this man. For his supplies. The Chaos Rift is opened up nearby. It's another 30 seconds. So we can break that, but it's like, the question is, do we really need to be on the move? Kind of seems like we should be. It has this kind of weird, like, you should move, but also you don't need to, but also maybe you should. It's just kind of hard to figure out. Reveal the map. Nice. Okay, so we actually know that there are going to be scrap... Scraps down here. Yep. Okay, he is a big lad. Get out. He's got to charge up, and then he does a big dash like that. Okay. Hey, yo! Not today, sir. Yeah, I kind of prefer having him in the melee range. To the bullets. Okay. Another one down. We got nine seconds, and then we are about to get the extra bads. 
The world is ending. Good to know. It's kind of... Oh, God, he's the one with it. All right, so the portals are theoretically going to be opening up everywhere. And it was uh, basically a mistake to not move even faster. I'm just trying to figure out the, um, the pace of the game, you know? Because it's interesting that it's a survival game, but we're on, like, a timer. So I'm just trying to process the logistics of that. Hey, would you stop running? You son of a gun. Get back. Okay, this is annoying. Hey, now. Hey, now. Get back, get back here, you. You annoying man. Okay, there we are. All right, now we want to get out. Now we want to get out, right? Portal is down there. Time does not stop while we're paused. Okay. Potion up. That could have been bad. There's a real chance that could have been bottlenecked there. My hope is that the future, um, the future levels maybe have a higher timer. Because otherwise, like, I can't build a base. There's no time to build a base in a uh, setup like that, that's for sure. But I'm sure that it will be, right? Get in. Bring him back. We did it. Okay, so could it... Yep, we can roll back time further there. So the time ran out. We probably got enough to repair this. Indeed. Cool. Burning bullet. Ignites when it hits. Chills when it hits. Poison. Charm. Allows the first edition to scan creatures. I mean, first things first, let's get the fire. Learn a fire research station. We need 10 charcoal for it. There's a chance that I can just cook wood <laughs> in a furnace, you know? 25 metal scrap for that. Turn stuff into arcana. So I would need to find one out in the world for that. Cobalt ingot for that. Not necessary. So this is... A, we've learned how to make that bullet. The loading bench is, is really the thing that I kind of want the most. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go back in time. Wait, hold on. If we do that... We just go out into the world as it is right now. Is it... Okay, there's still a timer. Let's just grab a little bit of wood and then head back. I think that that's kind of the plan for now. Because I want to be able to make a, um, a bench back at home. Where it's never going to go away. I like how it says right there... There's the kind of little red symbol. Boop, boop. Implying, you know, hey, it's going to update as we need it. For the love of God. There we go. Got enough to do it. Get back there. Get on back there. So we go, you go out into the world and it, maybe I could like, okay, this is for science. I was well, like, could I go back out there and then the time starts back up? The answer is no. All right. Happy to pop that down. Destruction bullets. I thought I learned how to make uh, burning bullets. Maybe. Refill bullets. I mean, I guess I'll craft some more of these. It really does not take a lot in order to do it. Can't do that. Upgrade the book. Scan decorative buildings. 
So that's going to be like more of more of a fluff thing. But yeah, I'm really like wondering why I can't build burning bullets. Who knows? Who knows? Is there anywhere I can put down all this stuff? Like, do we can we make like a crafting bench? Or like a, a chest to store stuff? Doesn't look like it. Not yet. I'm sure we'll get one later. Let's go scan two creatures. Can't do anything to get up there. Alrighty. We got our gun rebuilt at the very least. Let's go scan some creatures. I mean, surely I don't just do fire with those now. Just by default. Okay. Reveal the map. Okay, so we know exactly where that's going to be. Increase movement speed. Sewing Makana. Alright. Well, I'm heading up towards... Oh, hello. Howdy. Welcome to the Imperium, kid. Or what's left of it? Wizards used to be packed into stone spires as high as their ambitions. You're mine. You've been schooled. Oh, he's a creature. God, that one's so far up there. These do feel worth, um, breaking. Like, I don't know what the oil's gonna be for, but I think we're gonna want it. There's something down here. Yeah, the hell does this thing? Like a little arena where we can just kind of farm some free arcana, basically. Yeah, kind of seems like a mob spawner. Like, and I mean, obviously it is a mob spawner, but I'm saying like a capital M, capital S mob spawner. Like a Minecraft style mob spawner. Okay. Reduce the chaos. Good deal. Three minutes. Okay, so that was a hefty one. Oh, what a shot. What a shot that man is. He hit me more than everyone else combined, it feels like. Yeah, okay, that thing. Stop it. It does seem like a... Ah, I wonder if we could build it. I want to scan it, but maybe now's not the time. Maybe if I scan it, I could build one. Like, that'd be pretty cool. You know, if you could eventually build up, like, a base of your own. Mm -hmm. Defend it with those things. Yeah, that'd be fun. Ah, you got me. Take all. Ooh, another portal. We got up above five minutes. Which is pretty interesting. I don't know what being damp does to you here. Besides slow you down. Okay, so there's that man. Hello. Not scanned him yet. That's a Makana, huh? Uh-oh. The giant cat has the... That's what I need. Oh, he ain't happy. Get out. Get out. God, I, just, I do need better... I need better bullets. Okay, he might have another attack. We gotta be careful. So far, it's only been the dash. Ooh, I was busy looking at whatever that weird AoE is up there. That's, uh, it looks like that guy's healing everybody? He's 
healing the tree? Jinx Eye. Me too? No? Cast Rift nearby. Not for one. Alright, so... That only revealed the one. We don't know... Where the others are yet. Kind of want to pick up that mushroom and eat it. I guess we could pop a potion. Alright, getting kind of uh, bottlenecked up here. I don't want to shoot the cats! I'll go for the one that gets angry and attacks me, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna instigate a fight against the cat. Collect gears. So one out of one gear collected. This was the only gear in this mission. So we could like hang out here and still explore yet, but do we need to? Not necessarily. Let's take a look at what kind of crafting components we might need still. More scrap for a furnace. I would definitely like a furnace back at home. More wood for a small chest. Okay. Let's literally shoot some trees down. I see the rift. Alright, pop it. A nut. Oak apple. I feel like making sure to break these is quite good too. It's such an interesting blend of genres here. Holy... Like, the fact that we're using a gun to do our mining and our chopping down of trees is so funny to me. But it makes a lot of sense. A jumble of broken machinery. We have 28 pieces of wood now. I feel like we're still going to want a bit more. Let's go for the, uh, the one that has the food. We've got three minutes to do whatever the hell we want, though. Boop, 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 boop. And I guess this one is feeling a lot more generous, but that might just be because we found that portal with the extra three-minute game. But I'm assuming that there's one of those in every map, right? Because on average, they're giving me the 30 seconds, but finding that one is like, you are going to be gaining time for sure. Like a lot of time. The other ones is like, you have to subtract how much time it takes you to walk out of your way, shoot it, yada, yada, yada. But you're gaining on the three minutes, that's for sure. Anything else? Any other big... There's some kind of something down here. Oh, that thing's... I like him. So these things don't... They're not harm... Okay. Now I feel like a monster. They don't intend to harm me. Okay. Sewing Makana. Change the look and add special attributes. Health regen. I mean, why would we bother? Like, I don't really need to do this at the moment. Increase your max health by 250. I mean, seems seems good. What else? What other kind of things are we looking at? No enchantments for that. No enchantments for that. Increase dash distance by two times and dash force up. We would need a lot of jinx eyes, so we'd have to go for the cats. Uh, HP regen, we need healing potions, iron ingot. I'll tell you what, I'll definitely go for the... Um, where's the hat? Surely there's one for the hat. No, there's surely not. All right. I'll bump that up. So we got an HP upgrade. We also learned how to make one of those. So we can still... I kind of just want to make sure we have enough for a furnace and a chest. We do. And then we have a little bit extra as well. Don't mind me. Go up. Just <laughs> shooting up your house. Ooh. Wait, hold on. I'm out of ammo. That checks out. I think we'll probably 
so we should probably leave. Unless I want to... Because I don't really want to craft a new gun. Huh, yeah, if you get caught without ammo, you are in a pickle. But we already did what we needed to do here. We have our gear. There's going to be some stuff chasing us on our way back, but so be it. Later, nerd. Oh, okay. Well, hey. Didn't even break through my new HP. Okay, there's a couple other points of interest marked down there. I don't really need to worry about that. Shoop. All right. We did it. Got the gear. It, it better be like a big gear or something, right? Yeah, okay. Huh. So then the next one we're going to be looking for three... I wonder if we, like, go to... We get different areas, it said, over the course of time. Charcoal, I didn't really get any of that. Shabby Wanderbus. Ah, a gun can use powders. Powders change the way that bullets behave. Gun has two bullet chambers. Interesting. Interesting. So we have an area of effect powder that we can apply to this. The spell moves faster. Powders for target seeking bullets. Interesting. Healing bullet heals what it hits, works on creatures, makana, and plant. Yeah, it definitely seems like. So we'd have to craft the increased area powder. What does it currently have? He homing on enemy. Why would we want a healing bullet that homes on enemies? Interesting. So we have the burning bullet that we could give homing or increased area. We'll give it homing. We'll craft, we'll craft one of those. And then for this, I feel like increased area makes more sense for the healing bullet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, we got the shabby wonder... Ooh, boy. I feel like the healing bullets are going to pretty much exclusively be for co-op, which this game is, in fact, going to have. Ooh, wait. I made ash by... F if you shoot this with, uh... Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Healing and growth magics can be studied here. You know, sure. We, since we have the stuff for it. Repair bullet. Repairs whatever it is. Now, that's kind of interesting. So, we should be able to craft more of this now yeah so it takes iron ingots to uh to make more wood actually so we can then craft up a furnace not that we even have any um that much more scrap really oil charcoal i mean i guess i kind of want to keep the charcoal this seems good but Hopefully, it's going to be a very efficient fuel. One would assume. Grab that out. Nice. Okay. This is... Okay. Things just got a lot spicier seeing that system. So, I'm sure we'll be able to learn more different, like, types of impacts, stuff like that. So this had homing already, I thought. So we have to spend every time we want to add it? Not sure. Grab that, grab that. I guess we could leave it in. So we don't die with it, I guess. We might as well, right? 
do this. Craft some more burning bullets. It's all filled up. And I definitely want to pop on out to... Uh... Okay, hold on. First of all, let's also get the chest. I don't know if there's... How do you rotate? It's not the scroll wheel. It's not R. Surely there is a rotate. I'll just put it there for now, but... We could pop back some of the stuff, like... You know. Transfer all... Probably all of that. Uprooted fur. Don't need all this food with us. And I definitely want to go back out and see what we can do with this uh, explosive gun. So this one just can only hold this type of bullet, it seems like. That's where my confusion was. Oh, man. It doesn't auto-pull from chests. Rip. I guess I'll just keep the wood on me. If we need to get more, we get more. If we lose it, whatever. It's... Similarly, not that tough to uh, really fix up. So charcoal. We've never made charcoal yet, but I'm, you know, I think we can safely assume it's not going to be hard to make out of just, like, wood. Could even help. We could even go look, because charcoal was used to make the, uh, the fire bench. Well, that answers that. We can't... We can't just put wood in there. That'll that'll be fine. If we wait, if we used it as a resource, maybe that was um the wood that dropped that was on the ground before, maybe we had to cook with the wood in order for that to show up. Potion brewing station. Gunslinger, yes. cup of tea, a little bit of speed, a little bit of healing. You know how to build a potion station? I have one right over there. Well, I mean, I sure as hell do now. Thank you very much. So let me... I'm curious. Yep, that was my hope. We've set the tree on fire. And it seems to be doing a really good job of taking it down. And, in fact, we got some charcoal. So we actually want to blow up all of the bushes or all the trees and shrubs and such. Oh, that's really fun. Oh, I set myself on fire, too. I'm glad I'm... Hey, sandbox indeed. Ain't much of a sandbox if you can't set yourself on fire, too. There is a broken doorway up there. Ooh. I do need a lot of charcoal. Yes, we're wasting a lot of bullets. But these bullets aren't that hard to get. All right. Do on both. Ooh. Burn down the forest with fire bullets. All right. This is where the game is starting to sing. Oh, my God. See, I need 10. I think it was 10 charcoal. It's almost there. We'll do this. We'll get in the portal. After spending, yes, a lot of bullets, but... You can craft more and it won't be that hard. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Get out. Okay, this is so <laughs> much stronger. It's not even funny. What are you guarding? Nice. There we go. Hold on. Gotta get down here. Pop that bad boy. Give me another 30 seconds. There we go. Let's get to that portal thing. Got two and a half minutes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, man. It's a pretty close range gun. I mean, it makes sense. It, it should be, to be clear. But it's even, even closer range than many shotguns. Okay, so something up there. What? Help! Oh, won't someone help? I'm trapped on this island. I don't know what to do. Hey, you got a cool wizard book. You should use that on me. Maybe it'll help you fly or something. Are we going to finally learn what the hell is going on with that? The little gaps. Uh, Darnaby. Ground layer. Ooh. Can construct and deconstruct world tiles in the tower and in the shatter. Use to explore the tower and cross gaps in the overworld. Okay, hold on. We're going to have to... Uh, pop that first. You're free. You're free, Darnaby. I don't have a lot of time. I'm rescued. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so now we can even fix that up. Uh, shoot. Can we cross diagonal? Good. Because we're running out of stone. Repair the doorway. Oh, okay. Ground construction. Is it just for, like, for looks? That's kind of fun. Well, wait, a water tile has different implications for sure. All right. Very, very neat. Um, as far as... How much I can really... That's not really why I wanted to put that. As much as I can really do is... Kind of remains to be seen here. Because this... I have one more stone. I could literally... I could get this, but I can't make it all the way back. All right. Well, what the hell, though? The world's been destroyed. You must roll back time before starting anew. I may have soft-locked myself by coming over here with not enough stone. But I was going to be wrapping it up here anyways, so it's very convenient timing, if so. But, uh... Interesting. We'll scan that. Zoop. Research the world builder. Got something else. Yeah. I mean, I just don't... <laughs> I just don't have stone. Therefore, I am actually... As far as I can tell, I'm actually trapped. <laughs> Because it won't let me uh, roll back time. All right. Well, alas, alas. <laughs> that is that, and that's going to do it here for today. Man, if I had one more stone, we would have been okay. But hey, what are you going to do? This is super cool. Uh, it is... I st I'm like still figuring out exactly what the gameplay loop is and everything, but it's, it's kind of one of a kind while also being very familiar and bunch of different unique parts i really enjoy it i think it's a lot of fun and i can't wait to see a more full version of it but like i said the last last that's that that's gonna do it here for today my name is retromation i cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites if that is something you are into this is a channel that you should be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye